na 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 awe eh hey, eva awe <laughs> oh my word this is um yolanda and um, mitch you know trying to represent oh my this dude really tried for liam and no cap hey baby What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shostly Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel, or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist i see they hot one thing i love about young papi is he doesn't know how to sugarcoat words he would dish it out the way you want so there is this video of young papi you know he was live and he was telling the naysayers that why do you all follow me when you guys do not like me why do you follow my every move? When I go live, you come on here. When I say something, you come to my page. Why do you follow me so much for it's too much for somebody you claim to not like? Of course, you all know what young papi have been going through post show. You know, so he came out, you know, and was actually addressing the naysayers. And his fans are so pleased. They said they love how he's actually handling these naysayers and their wahala. That they love it that he doesn't show them that they actually have um strength or power over him. That when they give a buzz, he will reply with a buzz that he is not here to joke. So he, he's been hyped by his fans. I am sorry, but when are we going to address that Jared and Papi fumbled hard? They had the hottest girl ever. So people actually started this thinking of calling out on Jared and the young Papi. They are like, oh no, how did these people miss? See, they would have been enjoying post show if they were true to Liema and Z. In my mind, I'm like, you guys should not make it look like life revolves around Liema and Z. Don't make it look like that. Please, it doesn't make sense. Because you're now making it look like they would have lived a better life with Z and um, Liema by their side. No doubt Z and Liema had huge they have huge fan base. But at the same time, that does not mean those ones who have um that their fan base is not as big as theirs means that they actually miss a lot. It just didn't work between them, and that is very okay. Guys, the game is the game, and that is very okay, right? Cause this housemate see all of this talk down and it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't one bit. Meanwhile, guys, Mark X and then Bravo B have started their movement to they've started their sensitization. Like they've started, you know, going out to talk to people, group of people, sensitize them on, you know, things they need to know. Remember, Makeke had the gig yesterday. So he actually went there with Bravo B. Now it is given that what he said in Biggie's house that he's actually gonna start a thing with Bravo B where they need to educate people on how to approach, on how to speak to people because you might be misinterpreted when you say something else. Remember what happened in the house with Makeke and Bravo B. So they have started the movement already. All right, um, this video of Yolanda is actually staring brows because Yolanda said my heart melted when I saw him. So it was fans cheering um, Yolanda up and then on seeing that someone has vitiligo like her, a guy, it shows on his hand and everything. Yolanda felt so special. She felt in a different kind of way. She has a special love for people who has this because it is really not easy to beat down the shame that comes with this thing. This self-confidence that Yolanda wear like a crown is not easy to achieve. Even people who do not have vitiligo, so most people who do not have vitiligo do not have the amount of self-confidence Yolanda has. That needs to be applauded, guys. Like, it really needs to be applauded. Meanwhile, talking about Yolanda, Z, sorry, I said Z, oh my word. Yolanda and um, Mitch friendship is something we all love to see. They do things together. They have fun together. Like, they are the friendship that came out of the house that is actually giving us the aww moment. And truly, they suit each other because they have the same characteristics. Yeah, yeah, guys. So, a big shout out to Mitch and Yolanda for staying true to themselves. When we start comparing gigs, guys, housemates so far with paid gigs or deals, Liema, Yolanda, Mitch, 
Palais and else. Which gig did else have that I have, I do not know about? Someone please let me know if you know because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which one did you, um, Liema have? Does Liema have any gig yet? Okay, maybe they talk about the achievement. I don't know, but I don't know. The gig I know for sure right now is that of Palais that I just just did um, about. Uh, okay, uh, BBM housemates prefer Mpumi and Z over Lisende. Many went to support Z and Pumi, but only Yolanda and Mitch went to support Speeding Cobra. Mitch regret going because content wasn't contenting. His heart was there by Mpumi's. Oh, guys, when now? Nah? When now nah you these fans? Anyways, let's see reply. They didn't go because they don't afford flight tickets. Two big brothers and Zanzi Siyamosha, two big brothers and Zanzi Titan. One is the whole winner of Titan. They couldn't afford flight to EC, hence they opted for the nearest event. So now guys, of course I know this will happen. People have started comparing about the number of housemates that went for Liema's homecoming and the number of housemates that went for um, Mpumi's homecoming. Ditch your Okay, home to club for homecoming. Not new in Jelonto. They didn't like her in the house as well. So, Ness, to be fair, it's because they are local. Even at Willie's homecoming, they were there, which means it's not about whom they choose to support, but who is more closer. To me, I feel it's a distance actually. Not like they wouldn't want to come to support and everything. But people will choose where they want to go to, and it's very okay, guys. Come on. What's with all of this comparison? I am convinced that you all hate this kid's shame. Both those two fan base hate the people they claim they are standing. Because you know very well when you talk shit about Liema, her fans will drag Z. When you talk shit about Z, her fans will drag Liema. In the end, these kids are out of the house and they can see the posts and comment about them now. Who ends up being affected? The same people you all bring drugs towards while you claim to love. You find 40 years old with five kids from different fathers staying up at 11, dragging innocent girls over a tv show a Angola man you all have your faves i don't care who saves what but if you actually love them you wouldn't be inviting so much drugs to their names this person i feel like seeing you right now and give you a big tight hug because you just spoke like me seriously mimi when i say things like this people tend to misunderstand me that is just the truth. You're bringing drugs to these two people who are doing well post show, which is quite unnecessary. But you know the sweetest part of this thing is, thank God there are people who are reasonable, who understand. Even when I spew and talk, they understand the part and where I am coming from. They would understand it's not about being this fan base or not being in this fan base, but being a realist and saying things how it should. There is no need for all of those drugs because you claim to love those people. The moment you drag them, you're bringing drag for those people you claim to love. It's just simple as A, B, C. Anyway, trace guys, me, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.